Hello, welcome to our online training system. Your account has been created and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can customize your profile and put in your uh, details so that um, we can work together. Now, right in the front page of our system, uh, click on login and um, type in your username. Um, the password by default I put a password for everybody for every newly created account I mean uh, the password will be change me and that means you need to change the password right at the time you log in the first time so I'm going to change the password now the current password change me and a new password I type in the new password okay then I save changes see how it goes uh, well you say invalid login please try again well let me try again there must be something wrong with the password uh, the keyboard is not very good okay Oop. <sighs> very good so password has been changed now I click on continue and it leads me right away to the profile page where I need to change my profile and you see here uh, I need to update a lot of things, my first name, my last name and all the other fields so let's do it now um, so I will type in my first name and my last name together with my surname my email address okay um, now it's very important the system will send you updates news and all the announcements uh, via this email so you need to put in a working and valid email um, when you type in the email and save it um, this system will send okay, a verification email to the email address that you put here so make sure that you put um, an, you know, an email address that you use often and um, uh, because I have already got several emails in the system so um, I'm not going to change this okay. but this is very important put in a working email here uh, you should allow other people to see your emails because uh, all our courses um, for the time being are in the um, you know closed mode that means only um, uh, particip uh, participants in the course can see each other yeah email address is enabled city Ho Chi Minh uh, country Vietnam time zone okay now you need to type in a description of yourself okay so uh, you can type in any but basically you are going to uh, upload a picture and this description will appear next to that picture so it's best to type in a description of that picture well I'm going to upload a picture of myself uh, doing training at the Microsoft headquarters so I will type in a description something like this is me at the uh, Microsoft headquarter in the USA um, then um, in the uh, okay, browse of the pictures here I uh, you know it's very hard for me to remember your names and sometimes even your faces because I have so many students uh, if we do not work together for a long time this will be hard so you need to help me remember your name by uploading a passport photos 
of the cells. Okay, I'll try to give a photo that have you know show you know your face quite clearly so that I can remember you. Now for this purpose, I just upload a picture of myself. Um. Well, it's not here. I have changed the file name of some sort. I think it should be vu.jpg. And let me check. Okay, this picture is very small one. So the maximum file size upload is two megabyte, but uh, sometimes I may set the limit uh, lower. And you are not encouraged to upload a very big f uh, pictures to our system because uh, it will slow down the whole thing. So. A uh, small photos will uh, be enough. Uh, then you can type in okay, your interest here. Very important in the optional. Click on show advanced. I want you to put in a few things here. You can put in your web page, your the address of your blog, your website, your Yahoo ID, your Skype ID. Uh, and very important, I need you to put in your cell phone number, uh, your mobile phone number, so that we can get into contact uh, when they uh, are in need. Okay, so I put in a cell phone number. This is not really my cell phone number, but uh, yeah, please put in your cell phone number so that we can get into contact. Um, because there will be cases when I need to call you. Uh, when everything is done, click on update profile and see how it's go. Hopefully I have filled out everything. Okay. So now you see uh, the pictures go up. Uh, this is me at headquarters. Good. And uh, now I can click on Okay, the uh, home page to return to the course that I am supposed to take. Okay, by default, the test users SED is registered for SED training course only. So I click and get into the course. Alright, so I have already shown you how you can customize your profile at the first login. Well, that's it. Goodbye for now.